Hey, how's it going guys? Diamond here. And today I'm going to be showcasing you guys Citizens GUI. It's a very simplistic little plugin and overall can benefit you by helping out organizing your NPCs, changing how they work, what animal type, or even all anything that you can imagine. This little plugin provides you with what you need. I'm going to be showcasing in this video, so make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end so you learn the entire plugin. Other than that, let's get cracking into this, shall we? Before we do continue with this video, make sure to check out Revive Note in the description down below. Using the promo code Diamond and Caps, you can get 15% off your very first purchase today. And with servers starting at a dollar per gigabyte, you can start your servers either with friends or creating your own community today. So make sure to check them out in the description down below. All right, let's begin. I have three examples right in front of me because this plugin is relatively simple to learn. And we're going to start off with some very basic tool tips that honestly I find very unique and very helpful when it comes to citizens. So the first one is you can go ahead and shift and then right click a NPC, which will give you the information. So we can see that it's a type of player. If look is true or false, we can actually enable that. And as you can see, he's already looking at us. We have collide on true, so we can change that to false. And I'll show you guys later about that. Invincible true or false. And again, this does hook into Sentinel. So if you guys want to add it for, so I guess the best case for this one would be invincible for such as NPCs that could attack you or not glowing and basically just a default. I'll get into more of these in a bit, but I'm going to show you off that looking is now functionally working. That's great. That's basically all we need right here. So as you can see as well, collision isn't too much of a problem. Unlike this one, it is way more. You still see a little bit, but that's just how it works let's say for example you weren't super close to the npc what you can do is just npc gy and then that will show every single one of them and as you can see we have every one of them here so we're going to go into diamond for example and we're going to change the entity type we can even put it as an armor stand which is a bit weird but it works for some reason let's go ahead and change it again we're going to change him into for example i did not know you can change him to an item frame that is that is unique all right so let's try a illusioner or we can do so that is one thing i sadly have noticed if you aren't careful of what entity it is transforming into it will just disappear and the only way is to make it back into a player or a and or an animal that actually can be visible at all times such as the volker teeth can only be seen for one split second so we're going to change it back to a player and teleport it back here and it works again so it's not gone it's just it won't be visible that's just something you want to keep in mind and we're going to head and go change it to a drone for example this is perfectly visible and won't cause any issues and we can go ahead and change the next one as well so we can click on this one collision false we can do silent so that is actually something i might want to do with the drone for example i can make it silent because i do not want to make it any sound and then we have glowing i'm not going to show this one off because mainly i'm using shaders and it won't make a difference but overall we have the despawn this is more towards sentinel and flying swimming gravity more again more towards sentinel now something we can actually do is i'm actually going to select for example pvp over here i'm going to go ahead and change this entity type to if i can find it so unfortunately i can't find it and i did test it out and it turns out it's not an actual npc for some reason but regardless we can just add any one of these so i'm going to see if i can just find a simple one such as a skeleton and what we're going to go ahead and do, I'm actually going to replace this item so he can have his iconic bow. And then as soon as we click equipment, whatever we're hovering or holding, it's going to go ahead and automatically place on him. So we can come over here, for example, on this citizen and we can go into equipment. I'm going to go ahead and hover over this item, click that. And he has that equipped now. He also is holding it. Uh, what we're going to do for that is do it again. But this time he's holding the sword, which is honestly all we wanted. So we can just easily equip it on them. And since I do have an item on my offhand, he's going to use that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and come here, use that. And just like that, he is a full netherite NPC. And he's looking at me, it just look, looks like a normal player, honestly, other than the walking part. But as you can see right there, it is very simplistic with a simple command and easy functions to remember it can just help you set up your npcs in your hub or in your world or whatever you're really doing there are some small little features as well such as you can go ahead and click near npc so it'll show you the nearest and it is on a range 
But other than that, it's just a very simplistic plugin that can just benefit you in setting up your server. Honestly, it's a really nice plugin. I really suggest you guys trying it out. There's no cost to it and it's completely free. So make sure to check it out in the description down below. And that's the whole video right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to leave a like. Of course, I do these type of videos all the time. And if you guys want to see any more type GUI plugins, leave your ideas and I'll make sure to read them out. Other than that, I'm Diamond. Hope you guys have an amazing day and make sure to check out Revive Note in the description down below. And I am out. Cheers.